Uh, please, can you hear my voice? Yes, yes, we can hear you. Okay, cool. Then. Okay, cool. Guys. So, once again, the same topic. So, we all know how to create a workspace. So, today we are going to continue on the same. So, create a project package and then a class. Okay. So, I'll, uh, some of you guys would have joined yesterday or uh, today, right? So, nothing to worry. So, I will cover each and everything actually what for you guys what I have been taken for today. So, nothing that actually what you have left over. And few of you would have felt that yesterday your session actually what uh, some of them were able to answer and then the quiz questions actually what some of them were able to perform, but you were able to answer only actually what 30 percentage or 40 percentage, right? So those are, are intentionally given because after two to three days, again, I will give the same quiz. So there you can know whether you're able to answer and then what is your level of understanding, okay, for all the topics, everything, okay? So that's why, so it takes a little time and effort for you to go forward and then keep the steps step by step. Okay, so nothing to worry. I'm here to help you. Cool. So saying that, we'll start. Uh, so how to create a project? I'll just uh, ask you each and every one. So just give a try. I know that you guys have joined newly. So if you're not able to answer, it's completely fine. I will try to answer. Okay, I will try to help you guys. Okay, so next. Uh, hi, uh, Bhavani Reddy. I think you have joined yesterday only. Uh, can you help me how to create a project here in this Eclipse? Any idea? No, sir. Okay, you uh, cool. No worries. Uh, Bhavya? Bhavya, yes? Yeah, no, no. Uh, Can you help me how to create a project? Mm, uh, give a try. Uh, if, if not... That, okay. uh, that's absolutely fine because you are in the learning stage just now you started so nothing uh don't feel bad actually what to say that you don't know so i'm absolutely fine with that after two to three days the same topic you will be able to answer it perfectly okay uh is it possible uh Bhavya? Um, or do you want to try later uh, i'll try later oh cool no worries uh china can you help me how to create a project Ah, yeah, okay. Create new. Go to file. Go to file. New. New. Take your project job. Yeah, I'll go for project. In the then Java. Job. Yes, Start. in this wizard, you will have a folder called Java. Click on this Java, Java project. project and click on next. Now I'll give the project name, for example, project, project underscore A1 I'm giving. Then, so execution environment. So Java one point eight. One point eight, yeah. So I don't have Java SE ten or seventeen. So I'm going with one dot eight. Okay. Now I'll click on finish. Okay, good. Uh, eh, hiya. uh darling, uh, you have joined newly today, right? Uh, okay. Yeah, no worries. Uh, Diti. Hi, Diti. Hi, Murli. Hey, Diti. So once I create the project, right? So mm -hmm. I want to check my project location. So how can I check my project location? Any idea? Yeah, right click on the project A1. Okay. And then properties. Properties. And then yeah. resource. Resource. Yeah, now you the location. Have the project location. Good. Okay, I'll go to the project location. Hey, thanks. Thanks, Deepthi. Okay. Uh, so, uh, Apurupa? Uh, Apurupa, you? Yes, Marley. Super. Okay. So, here we have two folders, main folders. One is SRC, another one is BIN. Okay. So, what type of files will be stored in SRC and then in bin folder? Any idea? Normally. Okay, no worries, no worries. Uh, uh, okay. 
Esa, I can try src uh, is dot java. Super, yes. And uh, bin is uh, dot class. Dot class, awesome, good, it's correct. Yeah. So src folder will have the okay. dot java files, bin folder will have the dot class files. Okay, good. Uh, hi, uh, Kauri Patil. Yes. Yeah. Now, we know that actually what? We will have dot Java files and then dot class bits. Okay. So, which type of file? So, I'm writing a program, right? So, which, which file has my program? Yeah, sorry, once again. Uh, so I'm going to write a program, right? So class A1 yes, and yes. then I'll have a function. So if I open any one type of file, I will be able to see my complete program. Which file dot Java or dot class? It is a dot class file. Uh, no, it is dot Java files. The dot Java files will have my complete program. Okay. Okay. So dot Java files will be first created. I need to do something to get my dot class bits. Any idea what I need to do? Compile. Super. We need to compile. Hey, good. Hey, thank you. Thanks, Gauri. So, next. Um, hey, hi, uh, Krishna. Yes, Murli. So, um, in, if I'm using command prompt, okay. So first I have my dot Java files alone. Okay, right. So for example, yeah. I'll just try to have it. So so I'll have a notepad. Class A1 public. Sorry. Give me a minute, guys. I'll just create it here and then I'll just copy it there. So I'm not going to create a package. In the SRC, I don't have a package. I'm directly I'm going to create it. So finish. See, it created a default package. Okay. So I'm copying this dot Java file and then I will paste it here. I have this dot Java file. So just I will left mouse click here. Then I will type CMD directly in the address bar. Then I will click on enter. It opens me a command prompt in that location. Can you see? It's another way, a shortcut for me to get it. Okay. So now I have this dot Java file. So first, what I need to do? Any idea? Compile. Compile Super. Java C. Good. Java C space A dot Java. So I need to give Java C space A one dot Java. So the C represents compile. Compile. Good. Okay. So now, uh, yeah. Rogit, can you see? So when I click on enter. So what's going to happen? Java C space A1 dot Java is there. Now, if I'm going to click on enter, what will happen? Any idea? Yeah, it will compile the A1 file. So far, that's it. Once it compiles the dot Java file, and another type of file will be created. What is that type of file? A dot class dot class that's it super good see it has compiled a dot class file is created okay so now next uh a hey, hi sachin uh any idea so if i want to execute this dot class file okay so how do i uh run the command any idea uh, class name java a1 java a1, a1. that's it only the class name. Do I need dot class extension? No need. No need. Okay. Good. So main method class A1, please do main method is 
Um, okay, sorry, one minute. Look. Okay, I don't have a main function yet. That's why it's not able to execute. So what is this? Uh, okay, I last um, Sakshi. Hey, hi, Sakshi. Yeah, hi, Murli. Yeah. Hey, Sakshi. Uh, can you help? Uh, so if I need a main function. Uh, yeah, it uh, is a public static void main. So I know what is a shortcut to get the main function? Uh, yeah, it's uh, a main, uh, then uh, control enter and uh, sorry. Control uh, space. Enter. Control space, yeah, control space and then enter. Good, okay. Uh, Samira, so if I want to print system dot out dot printer, what is the shortcut? S Y S and then. Yes, Y S O. S Y S O and then control space. Eclipse yeah, control space. Yeah, good. Yeah, thank you. So I will just copy and paste this main function. I'll just paste it here. I'll save it. So I have saved this dot Java file. Now, if I run this Java A1, will it execute the main function? Still, it's giving me an error. Any idea why? We need to compile again. Yes. If we do some changes in the Java file, again, a compilation has been done. Then only the dot class file should be again recreated. See, it is 747 AM and then this is 745. Recently, I changed Java file, but the class file, nothing they do. Okay, which file is used for execution? Class. Dot class file. Okay, so once again, I'll click up arrow, Java C space A1 dot Java. See, 748, the dot class file is generated. So I will clear it. Okay, now again, Java space A1. I'm getting the output, hello world. Okay, good. Okay, so now we know how to execute in command prompt. Now we'll come back here. Okay, so I'll ask uh, Sagan. Hey, hi, Sagan. Uh, I think you have joined yesterday. Uh, if possible, give a try. Otherwise, uh, no problem. Uh, tomorrow also you can answer. Okay. okay. Uh, hey, hi, uh, Shesh Traudri. Hi. Yeah. So now I want a, a package to be created. So what I should do? Right click on SRC. Yes. New. New. Package. Package. Good. So I'll give my package name as learning. So it's giving me discouraged package name. Any idea, Shravani ready? Any idea? Yeah, uh, Shravani joined today, I think so. Uh, um, okay, Shri Devi. Hey, hi, Shri Devi. Yeah, hi. Uh, L should be lowercase. Yes. So, is it mandatory? Yes, that is mandatory. Uh, no. See, it's just giving a warning symbol. Warning, yes, yes. Uh, okay. The same thing. If I, uh, what is the only symbol which is allowed here? Underscore. Underscore. All right. So apart from underscore, if I give, it will throw me invalid package name. Good. Hey, thank you. Thanks to Devi. Next, Sujata. Yes. Yes, Sujata. So now, can I start my package with numbers? Package name with numbers? Is it no. possible? No. Yeah, it's not possible. Then, now I'm going to give learning dot abc now what should happen learning dot abc if i give if i give a it dot will, it will create two different folders first one learning and that abc correct learning will be the parent folder inside that learning there will be a subfolder called abc dot represents to create a subfolder good okay good i'll click on finish so next uh a higher uh, I'll ask uh, Gauri Pat. 
yeah so now can you help me to create the class uh, yes uh, it's a uh, class d1 uh, so to create a class what i should do right click on the package right yeah and any idea yeah go to new super then class class that's it then here i'll give the class name yes so for example i'll give basics okay so here there are radio buttons modifier public and package so i'll choose package right now then i'll click on finish okay uh bhavani ready yes I, okay you, you have joined yesterday okay just give it back in case instead of choosing so i created a class right so here i have choose the package instead of that if i choose public so what is the change that would have happened here anything extra keyword would have come here in this class any idea in this package instead of that public if i would have choose anything changes would have come any idea uh, cool no worries uh, bavya you have idea okay mm -hmm. uh, yes any idea anyone yes uh, before yes. class public keyword will be come. public yes a keyword called public that's it okay good okay so now i'll have my main function the shortcut is m a i n control space enter okay good okay so now we all know uh how to create a project package and then a class okay so some of you guys actually what you would have joined yesterday and then you're not able to answer so uh, no worries okay so it's it's like uh, it happens like that only because for me on section what everything i did not get on the first uh, one or two days okay but slowly actually what you will be able to grab things actually what in one or two days okay right so nothing to worry that actually what most of them were answering and then you were not able to answer don't think like that so you will uh, uh, be able to grab things actually what in a day or two then you will also be able to be a part of it okay good so next i am going to open uh, okay before that so what are the different types of variables we have any idea types of uh, variable one is global yeah. variable and local, and global. local variable uh, local and the, another oh. one is global okay so now i will ask uh ihaya shridevi can you tell me so global what are the types we have in global uh static and non static super one is static another one is non static okay good so guys i want to comment these three lines uh what is the shortcut control, control shift is uh, forward slash super control shift forward slash is to comment this is one way if i want to uncomment this Control uh, uh, backward slash. Ah, uh, control shift backward. Shift the black backward slash. Yeah. Another option is there? Any other option? Control forward slash. Yes. Control forward slash. The same thing to remove. Again, select it. Control, control backward slash. Uh, no, again control forward slash. Oh. Okay. Okay. Right? So, if I want to make it like. this it should be control shift forward slash forward slash star star forward slash will come that's it okay next so now again the same topic so first i want a local variable to be created okay so um i'll ask uh, bavya yes can you help me so in which line number a local variable can be created in this program uh Seven. Super. That's it. So, how can be created? So there are two things here: Three. creation and then storing a value to the variable. So, creation. 
Next is storing a value to memory location. So what are the terminologies it's been called for creation? Any idea, guys? Declaration. Declaration. Super. Storing a value? Initialization. 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 Okay. Good. Okay. So can uh, you help me here? Uh, I'll ask. Um, Deepthi, can you help me? So if I want, I want to declare and then initialize a value 10 in a variable name called A. So yeah, in a, like it, if it is local, then at seventh line, we should write int A equal to 10. A equal to 10. That's it. Super. Next, I'll ask uh, Aburupa. Uh, global variable. So there are two things. One is static and non-static. So any idea in which line number I can declare and initialize a static variable? Any idea? Eight. Um, it's a global variable, right? Mm -hmm. So global variables means it should be outside the function. So this is my function. Outside the function, it should be declared and initialized. So, okay, that after is, 10, 11. Uh, uh, no, inside the class, outside the function. So, that means here in line number four, I can okay. do that. Okay. Right? So, same thing. A uh, good day. Thank you. So, next, I'll ask uh, uh, Rogit. Uh, uh, Samira, yeah. uh, Rogit. Uh, can you tell me? So, how can I uh, declare the static variable? The variable name is x and value is 100. Yeah, variable name is x and value is 100. I want to store 100, a static variable. Okay, so static uh, int x awesome. equal to 100. x is equal to Hundred. That's it. Super. So next, uh, I'll ask. Uh, if I uh, Sujata, now I need a non-static variable. So y, the variable name is y, and value is two. Which line number? Uh, eight. Uh, no, non-static member is what? A global. Global members means it should be declared outside the function. So that means so line number five. Ah, uh, super. Line number five. Yes. Then static int y. So this is, is a non-static. So static variable means we should have a static keyword. Non-static variable means we should not have okay. any keyword. Okay. So directly we can mention int y is super. equal to. 200. 200. Semicolon. Ah, yes. Hey, good. Good. Okay. Uh, now I'll ask uh, Deepthi. Yeah, yes, Murli. Ah, so now can you help me? So integer y equal to 200, integer y equal to 10. Both looking alike. But why are we saying this seventh one, it's a local variable, and then the fifth one, it's a non static variable? Any idea? Yeah, because uh, we have initialized in the main method, so which is a local. Uh, it is it is declared. The place where the declaration is happening, it will is inside the main function. Uh, whether it's a local or a global. So this variable is declared inside a function, so it's a local. Y variable and is declared outside the function, so it's a global. And why it is non-static? Any idea? Because we, uh, it's outside the main function and we didn't mention as static. So it's Super. A... That's it. Yes, correct. Uh, it's outside the function and then it does not have any keyword called static. So that's why this is a non-static number. Okay, good. Hey, hi, Shakshi. Hi. Uh, now, can you tell me? So we have two types of members. One is static, another one is non-static. So 
which member has mul- uh, multiple copies yeah it's a non static yes the non static member have multiple copies yeah. static member how many copies it has uh, it will not have any copy no it will have a single copy yeah it will have single copy yeah, right. yeah. wherever we need it takes a reference only okay it yeah. uh, does not create a new copy it takes a reference super yeah. good okay good guys uh next i'll ask um hey hi hey, krishna ah uh, yes molly now can you help me i want to print all the values so for starting with local how can i print the values ah uh, see so control space enter yes and uh, int local variable how can it be used int a is equal to uh, uh, when i give int a that means we are trying to declare it okay so here i want to uh, print the value of that variable so i think just a correct local variables always will be directly refer yeah. with the help of the variable good next uh i'll ask uh, samir uh is it possible for you how can i uh print the value of this non static variable why or babya uh, can you repeat the question Uh, so i want to print the value of a non static variable y so how can i use that how can okay, i do that okay any idea uh, so uh, in bracket y uh, non static member means so local variables will be referred directly by the variable name for non static members we need to do something there should be some reference right okay uh, we need to create an object correct super that's it so how to create an object okay uh, hey, good hey thanks bhai yeah i'll ask um hna can you tell me how to create an object for this hmm. basics class create object and new object equal to new object uh, class name okay new class name basic equal to this will help me to create the object so if i want to name the object no more like create no create object equal to new mm-hmm. no no it's not create object uh it will be that class little... um come again first of all create object no for class and uh, so uh, any any idea what will be the syntax uh, that, that's fine uh, krishna Uh, any idea how to create an object uh no only not sure okay uh, anyone any idea guys anyone oh, yes. yeah basics basics Correct. object equals to new basics no basics obj equal to new basics so here which is my object name obj obj is my object name so the reference is what basics, basics class name okay new basics what it will do create a memory location okay right create a memory location that is my object so far good a hey, good good guys so next so now i want to print the value of y so scissor what i should give um any idea obj dot y obj dot y so far good so next um i'll ask um hey hi uh, sachin can you yes. help me yeah, so yeah. how the static member so what is the standard practice to refer the static member like a uh, class name dot uh, i think in yes so, so basics is my class right? basics dot x yes. okay yeah good is there any other way i can refer the static members don't uh, uh no worries no worries uh shesh choudhary 
Any idea? Yes, Is there any other way? Name. Come again? Yeah, by, by the object. OBJ dot X. OBJ dot X. X. So whenever we create an object, it loads all the static member, also the non-static member. So that's why I'm able to access the static member here. X is here, main is here, and then Y. Everything will be there. Okay, and then CISO. Any other way? Anyone can say. Yeah. Variable oh, name. Directly by the variable name also. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so I'll just come here. OBJ dot. Okay, so Hello. now can someone tell me what is the supermost class for all the classes in Java? Object. Object. This object class is the supermost class of all the classes in Java. Anywhere when we create an object, there will be an object from the members from the object class we will get because that is a supermost class of all the classes in Java. Good. Okay. Nice. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes, Sajan. Yeah, actually, Murli, it's for static, the difference for difference is X, right? And if like uh, you said to write class name dot X to avoid confusion for static variables. Uh, can you tell me which line number? Line which? number, line number 13. Okay. So the standard practice to refer the static members is with help of a class name. But it can also be referred with the help of object name and also by the variable name also. But if if you directly on line 14, if you directly declare with X, we'll be we'll get confused, right? Like if, if it's a local variable with same name. Correct. If I have a local variable also with the same name, integer X is equal to 25. If I have now, if I give CISO. X. So what will be the value for 17th line? Don't know. <laughs> uh, no, no, just give it. No, no. Okay, I think it will be changed. Huh? Uh, uh, no, it's like it, this will refer my local member. Okay, so the value will be 25 only. Okay, the local variable value. So the same thing now, CISO basics, that's my class name, right? basics dot x okay see it referring the static number now what will be the output value for this line 18 100. this will be under okay so now uh, this can someone tell me so whenever i execute this program right so which is the first memory to be created static 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 so, static super so whenever I refer with the help of my class name, where the search will go? Static code. Static code. Static code. So this X value, we have it in, in the static code. So that's why we will get it from there. Whenever we refer only with the variable name, where the search should go? Local memory. Local memory. To the local memory. If I have in the local memory, actually what the same X variable, we will take the value of that local memory. If I don't have, this uh, x variable in the local memory, then what did we go to the static? Static pool. Okay, right? The same thing. If I refer with the help of object name, where the search will go? Static pool. No. Object. It will go to the object. If I have that member in the object, it will take from the object. But if it is static right. members, Static members will be have a copy there, or we will be have a reference in the object. Reference. Reference. So go to the object. From the object, it goes to the static mode. Static mode. Yeah. yeah. Clear, right? For everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, that gives you some little clarity. Sachin? Uh, yeah, Mula, I guess now understood. Like if you have the same variable name, uh, like with static and uh, local variable. It, it will take on the local variable, right? If you declare with system dot print LNX. Okay. So if I have only by the variable name, always search goes to local memory. Okay. If I have declared and declared some local variable, it takes the local variable value. So if I want to refer the static member, that's why we will always say standard practices to refer them with the help of my class name. 
So directly the search goes to static. Okay, right? Yes. Super. Good. Okay, guys. So now I'm going to take one program for you guys. And then, okay, I want you all to execute that. Okay, so this program we will execute. Okay, so before that, we'll have a short break. Okay, so this time actually what I'm trying to initialize values. Okay, so far we have declared and initialized, but we have not reinitialized the value, right? Now we are going to try that. Okay, so this we are going to execute with the help of my memory allocation concept. Okay, so before that, we'll have a short break for a five minutes. Then we will again come back and then we will execute in the memory allocation diagram. Okay. So far, anyone has any doubts, guys? Is that everyone clear? Okay. One more thing. I just need to know. Um, so, so do you find that actually what uh, am I going slow or the session speed is good? Uh, I'll just everyone fill this form volume. So far, whatever we have taken, is everyone clear on the topic? Is that everyone clear this so far? Whatever we have taken. And also actually give a feedback in case if I'm taking it fast or if I'm taking it very slow or something so that I can uh, make you make make it in a proper phase. Okay, good. Okay, so most of you have said you are clear on the topic. Okay, good. Okay, thanks guys. So we'll have a short break for a five minutes. Then we will again execute this program in memory allocation diagram. Okay, thank you. A short break for a five minutes. So by 8.17, we will again come. Thank you.
Hello. Hey, hi guys. Okay, is hi. everyone back? Yes. Okay. Cool. Okay. So, can you guys just give me a in the chat windows? Yes, you're back. So that I will have a a clear view that everyone has came back. Would you just one request that yes. object part I am not getting. Okay, uh, creating an object, right? Yes, yes. Cool, cool. Okay, I will just explain you now. Um, so, So I have a class here, A1. And then here I have a main function. Then in this class, we have integer A equal to 10. Integer B equal to 20. So in that one is a static. The other one is a non-static. Integer x is equal to 100 here. Okay, so now I'm just printing it. ex. Then so a1 dot a. Because I'm not explaining you. So later on, actually, what after writing the program, I will explain to you guys. Don't worry. Then, yeah. So non-static members always I need to create an object, then one like an access. So why? Because it will not be loaded anywhere. Only when I create an object, it will be loaded. Then so obj one dot b along with non-static member static members also will be loaded into the object so then next if i have integer a equal to 150 so a what is the output so A1 dot D. Okay, this is what we are going to execute. So I'll just increase the font size a little bit. Okay, so now when I execute this program, so this is my memory, right? So the name of the memory is A1. Okay, so now everyone can see so what is the first memory to be created static static memory. static Super. the first memory to be created is static port so now what are the members will be loaded into this pool integer a and b uh, static non-static and uh, main method no S name itself static pool that means Will the non-static members will be loaded here? No. No, no. no. Only static and main. Static. Correct. So why main function will be loaded? Yes. Because static. that is also static. Public static. static void main. Okay. So apart from that, do we have any other static members here? No. No. Okay. So only these two members will be loaded because they both are static. One is a variable, another one is a function here. Yes. Now, next, what will happen? Local memory. Local memory will be created. So, from the static pool, the local memory will get start to execute. 
local memory for public static void memory. Okay, so then next. So main function starts to execute. So integer x is equal to 100. So what will happen now? Any idea? Yeah. <laughs> local. Store in local memory. Local variables. Correct. So here we are trying to declare initialize, right? Declaration means what? Any idea, guys? Creating a memory. memory. Correct. It's like creating a memory. So where we are trying to create? In my local memory of main. And then storing a value under it. Yes. CISO X. When you refer only by variable name, where the search should go? Local, local memory. memory. Local memory. Do we have a variable called X? Yes. Yes. The value is 100. 100 will be printed for me here. CISO A1 dot A. What is this A1? That's class. my class. Class. class name. Whenever I refer with help of my class name, where the search should go? Static pool. pool to the static pool. So here, do we have a variable called a? Yes. Yes. The value is mm. ten. Next. Is there is some background noise from someone. Uh, CISO A, when I refer only by the variable name, where the search will go? Local memory. It will go to the local memory. So here, do we have a variable called A? No. So then where it should go? Static the pool. To the static pool. Here, do we have a variable called A? Yes. The value yes. is 10. So the 10 itself again, it will be printed for me here. Next, A1 OBJ1 equal to new A1. So what this new A1 will do? Create a new object. Create a new object here, yeah, super. A new object is created here. And then what is the name of the object? OBJ1. 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 And then what is this A1? Class name. Class name. Um, so what is this class name doing it's here? Reference. It's a reference. Say okay. to the object, load only the global members of A1 class. So what are the global members for this A1 class? Any idea? Integer, integer A and B. So so integer A, integer B. So these two global variables. And then anything else? Yeah, main function. Correct. So functions also are all global members. only. So... For me, static members, will it load newly or it will take a reference copy from the static pool? Yeah. Reference copy. Reference. Yeah. Reference. Correct. Because static members will have a single copy. So only reference will be taken here. So public static void main. And then this static entry. Then non-static members, always it takes the default value. Integer b equal to 20. Okay. So then next. So the object is created. Now CISO obj one dot b. Now where the search will go? OBJ1. Yes, object. OBJ1. Then B. So what is the B value? That is 20. So next. OBJ1 dot e. Goes to obj1. Do we have a variable here? No. no. But any reference coming from static pool? Yes. 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 The value of a is what? 10. 10. 10. I'll just take it from here. The value is 10. Next, integer a equal to 150. What should happen now? What I'm trying to do here? Declare and then initialize. Whenever we get that integer, the data type also is there. It's like we are trying to create a new memory okay. and then we are trying to store. So what type of variable is this? Local. 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 So where this memory should be created? Local. In my local memory for main function. 
because we are executing the main function here. Okay, next system dot out dot print ln a. Now when I refer only by the variable name, where the search will go? Local memory. Here do we have a variable called a? Yes. yes. The value is one fifty. Then next a one dot a. That's my class name. So when I refer with the help of class name, where the search will go? Static. 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 Pool. So here, do we have a variable called a? Yes. Yes. The value is what? Ten. Okay. So then comes out of the main function. Now what should happen? Local memory will be deleted. Will be deleted. Comes out of the entire class, the object, the static pool, and entire memory is deleted. Who will delete it? Garbage, Garbage collector. collector. Garbage collector. Okay. Cool. So, is everyone clear? Any questions on this? Uh, yes, Murli, I have. Yeah, can you, yeah, can you please explain on the object part again? Okay, good. So, a1 obj1 equal to new one is there. So now tell me what this new a1 will do. Any idea, guys? What this new a1 will do? New object. Created new memory. A new memory. That is the object. It's been created. Now, what is the name for the object? Is obj1. Obj1. So the reference here is a1. So it says to the object, load all the global members of A1 class. So which is my A1 class? This one. So here, what are all global members? Static, static int, int A, A and int B. Int B. And also my function, yeah, public function. static void. So static members, I told it will have a single copy. So this static integer A and then this public static void. Both are static members. So it takes the memory from this. Okay, the reference copy, it will be taken from this static pool. Okay. So then the non-static members, always it takes the default value from this place. Okay. This is what happens when we create an object. Uh, are you clear now, uh, Krishna? Uh, yes, Murli. Thank you. Okay. Super. Good. Let me remove this alone. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, guys, uh, just need to know, can I take for another, another 15 minutes or you want me to continue for tomorrow? Um, okay. I'll just... Uh, Uh, just everyone can you fill so so that I will know and for the next 15 minutes if you guys are okay everyone can attend means so that I can take okay okay I'll uh, stop for today. Okay, so a few members actually were, uh, uh, you have to go to office, I know. Okay, no problem. Uh, so tomorrow, we will again continue. And then we will talk about actually what initializing actually the values. Okay, so how to initialize actually what, reinitialize actually what values to the memory. That's what we are going to talk. Okay, so just need to know, so uh, feedback on my teaching. So just uh, is that you guys like my way of teaching and then are you, are you feeling confident that actually what you can be a programmer slowly or are you getting things? That's what I need to know. So in, in anything need to change also, let me know. Uh, Roshan, I'll ping you, Roshan. I'll ping you. Yeah. Good. 
okay yes good thank you so good so session actually what i will take initially little bit slow and then the same topic whatever i am taking it i will be uh, taking the same thing only for uh, first few days because if you are familiar with basics and then if you are actually what so much strong on the basics right understanding the other topics becomes more comfortable for you okay so that's that's where actually what i am taking it very slow uh, i know that some of you guys would have um, already you know few things so you might feel i'm dragging it uh, just be with me for a couple of days then after that we all will be in the same speed okay thanks guys so anyone have joined newly today and then uh, uh, are you guys getting the emails so whatever i have sent so far anyone need to receive so anyone need to receive these mails recordings everything if anyone is there please let me know so if you have not received let me know um only so far this is the fourth class right uh, this is the fourth class today what today session is fourth okay thanks guys see you tomorrow bye bye